Today, I'm gonna show you how to create glitch effects inside of After Effects. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So first off, I apologize for this video being a little bit late. I'm having to release this on Monday night instead of on the weekend because Easter Sunday was this Sunday and I had to spend some time with the family, wasn't able to get into the studio and record this video, but now I'm able to record it and we're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna be creating glitch effects inside of After Effects, more specifically a glitch style logo intro, but I've been having people ask for glitch style stuff for so long so I finally decided I'd show you guys how to tackle this inside of After Effects. You can apply it to a logo and then also people have been asking me to make a glitchy stinger transition for a long time but you can take this technique and you can really apply it to anything that you want. A stinger transition, a logo, a webcam border, really any graphics you want to just kind of glitch out a little bit and it's super easy and can be done entirely inside of After Effects. We're gonna be focusing on the logo and how to create a logo intro and just make your graphic kind of glitch and look all crazy and whatnot. I'm not gonna be providing any kind of sound effects because sound effects are kind of hard to work with. I don't want to give away other people's work and I'm definitely not going to create the glitch sound effects myself. That would be ridiculously difficult and I don't want to give away other people's stuff, but there's tons of free sound effects packs and glitches that you can download online. So I'll let you sound design these glitches for yourself if you want to use it, but we're going to be creating something that looks a little bit like this. So let's take a look inside of After Effects at how to make something just kind of glitch out a little bit. So inside of After Effects, I've got a blank composition here and I'm just gonna bring in my logo like you would. Here we go, we've got just fake logo just like that. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is just create a new solid. So we're gonna go up to layer, new, and then solid. And you can make this any color you want. It really doesn't matter, I'll just leave it white for now. And the reason the color doesn't matter is because we're gonna immediately come over here to our effects and presets and we're gonna type in fractal noise. So you'll see we got fractal noise right here. There's also VR fractal noise, so be careful. That's for when you're working in 360 video and whatnot. Just regular fractal noise under noise and grain. Drag it onto your solid and you'll see why the color doesn't matter because it's just gonna apply this looking thing to it. Doesn't matter what color it is. And then under soft linear here, if you go up to your effects controls, soft linear, we're gonna change this to block. And you're gonna see what that's gonna look like. A Little bit more like a glitch that we're going for. We're gonna mess with the contrast where we get some deep blacks and some bright whites just kind of like that then we're gonna head down here into the transform settings and we're gonna mess with the scale we're gonna uncheck uniform scale because we want the width to be like super wide so we're gonna take this like we're gonna take it way up I'm gonna go past the 600 on the slider we're gonna go to like almost 4,000 probably like that and then we can mess with the height a little bit maybe make the height like 200 I don't know just kind of like that you can mess around with these numbers however you want you don't have to follow my numbers but if you do want to follow my numbers you'll get something that looks fairly similar but now it's time to animate this for the actual glitchiness now we're not going to animate this by hand that would be really stupid what we're going to do to animate it we're going to head down here to the evolution that you'll see and there's a little stopwatch next to it for keyframing we're going to hold down alt on the keyboard and we're just going to hit that stopwatch and that is going to open up down here where we can type in our expressions and whatnot so we're going to delete everything and we're just going to type in time all lowercase and then a star so shift 8 will create a star and then we're just going to type 2000 now once again this is a number that you can mess with and change however you want if you want your glitches to go faster or slower i like 2000 though if you want to do what i'm doing and you'll see we've now got this just craziness going on on the screen we've animated the fractal noise to just look ridiculous so now that we've done that we are really almost done it's pretty crazy how easy this is first thing we're going to do before we apply this to our logo is we're going to head down here and right click and we're going to click pre-compose and you want to make sure you select move all attributes to the new composition and then we can call this comp just like glitch or something so we stay nice and organized so now we've got this pre-composed glitch layer then what we want to do is head up to new and create another new layer but we're going to create an adjustment layer this time and you want to place this adjustment layer in between glitch and your logo so we got logo adjustment layer glitch just sandwiched the uh, adjustment layer in between then we're gonna head over here to our effects and now we're gonna type in displacement map you can just type in display and you get displacement map popping up here and you just want to drag that onto your adjustment layer and then under the source right here you just want to change it from adjustment layer to your glitch layer then you can just hide the glitch layer using this eyeball right here and you'll see that our logo is starting to look a little cool it's starting to kind of tremor a little bit but if we click on the adjustment layer and we go to the displacement map and we mess with the horizontal displacement you can see we start to get our glitches we can mess with the vertical displacement to mess around with it a little bit and that is starting to look good now we can head into our glitch comp and we can mess with our fractal noise as well if we want to go into the transform let's say we want the width to be a bit more or the the height to be a bit more kind of like that 
go back here and you'll see we'll get a different effect but now as you can see we've got some glitches going on like crazy looking really good and now if we want to make it look a little bit more staticky and glitchy we can have it over here to our effects and type in bad tv and there's these really cool effects that are called bad tv and i like bad tv too old and you can just take that bad tv too old and drag it onto the adjustment layer as well and now you'll see we've got this like staticky grainy look to it and now it's really starting to look like your logo is glitching out and then if you want to take this to even another level and make this look a little bit cooler as well, you can go ahead and duplicate your logo down here by hitting Control D, and that'll just duplicate the layer. So if I select it again, hit Control D, you'll see it just duplicates fake logo. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to type in cross and we're going to grab CC cross blur. So just like that, and we're going to apply it to the top of the, uh, the top version of the fake logo that we just uh, duplicated obviously this would be your logo and then up here in the settings we can mess with these two numbers here and you'll see we get this crazy like color just blend going on you can take it really far if you want but i like making it look like the colors are kind of bleeding a little bit so you'll see if we turn off the cross blur and turn it back on it's making things look crazy and now you see that we've just got this insane just jacked up logo going on and obviously you don't want that happening constantly so what you can do is you can just kind of have it uh glitch out for a little bit and then here you can just go ahead and select them all and hit Control shift d and split them and then just delete them. So you see, we've just got the glitchy stuff here, but then it cuts to just this final, just plain logo. So you just got glitch plain, glitch plain, just like that. And you can take these three layers and just kind of duplicate them and drag them over here. So then you got glitch plain, glitch, you glitch plain, glitch. So you can just mess with the timings of everything and just kind of like have a little bit of glitch here. Let's go ahead and duplicate them again, have a little bit more glitch down here. So you just got this kind of glitch effect just going on, just like, uh, uh. As, so as you can see you just easily glitch out your logo however you want and then if you want to just want to do some animations like I showed you in the beginning you just want to take everything you've done just pre-compose it into glitched logo just like that and now you've got an entire layer that's glitching out that you can mess with however you want if you want to do something like I did in the intro I just turn on the 3d ability in this comp by hitting this little 3d cube looking thing and now we can animate our position to kind of rotate along this axis and you can get a flipping just kind of glitched out logo just like that and that is how i created the effect that you see in the beginning of this video and that's pretty much it for how to make a glitched logo inside of after effects but i know for somebody who's new in after effects this can kind of be a lot to take in and you might not get something that you're super happy with so what i'm going to be doing is providing the exact composition that i created for the beginning of the video here the one that you see right now this is going to be available down in the description if you just like to download the after effects project and mess around with this yourself so here's what it's going to look like when you open that up you've got obviously what i just showed you the glitched out logo just like this and if you wanted to place in your own logo you see you got a composition over here called your logo here and you can kind of delete that and i'll show you what it would look like if we head up here in assets i've got my fake logo too and if we bring in fake logo too and you position your logo in here just like that head back into final render you'll see we've got it all glitched out with a brand new logo so if your logo gets thrown in there it's gonna look all glitchy just like this and have some awesome 3d animation and just kind of fading in and out that you could put at the beginning of your youtube videos or wherever you want but it's that easy just to open this up place in your logo in the fake logo area i'm gonna go ahead and place in the old fake logo here just because i like the look of this one better with the glitch so just boom boom looks really awesome and then when you're ready to render it with your logo you want to make sure you're in the final render tab you'll see i've got the in and out points set for you so all you got to do is go up to composition add to render queue where it says lossless in blue go ahead and click on that and change it from avi to quicktime and then you can leave this as rgb if you'd like because there's no transparent stuff we got to worry about you don't need rgb plus alpha just rgb hit ok and then in output two where it says final render in blue click on final render and that's where you name it name it whatever you want save it wherever you want and then you just want to hit render and you are are done but guys that is pretty much it for this video once again i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you jump down in the description and download the glitched logo and add it to your youtube videos to take them to the next level or just take the technique that i showed you and apply it to a stinger transition or anything if you do do something cool with it make sure you hit me up on twitter at brevity m and share it with me or jump into a live stream and post it into my discord or something and i'll check it out on there as well because i'd love to see what you guys are creating once again i do try to stream every sunday and tuesday over on twitch.tv forward slash brevity m so make sure you're jumping over there and drop it a follow and catch on a live stream if you'd like to but i will see you guys in the next video peace out